Sí. Speaker, tēnā koutou te whare, uh, to the Minister of Finance. Does he stand by his reported statement that there is too much waffle coming from government departments and agree with the Prime Minister's assertion that the public service is bloated? If so, why? The Honourable Bill English. Speaker, yes, I do agree with the Prime Minister. Uh, and the full quote of what I said was the previous government's decision to massively ramp up spending in the 2000s left behind a large structural budget deficit and a bloated public sector that by 2008 was crowding out the competitive parts of the economy. I can reassure the member the government is ensuring that public sector delivers better frontline services, better value for taxpayers and helps us to achieve a faster path back to budget surplus at the same time as meeting New Zealanders' demands for consistently improving public services. Catherine Delahunty. What then is his response to the recent survey, Constructing Workplace Democracy, Women's Voice in New Zealand Public Services, that showed 50% of women workers in the public service work many more hours than they are contracted for, but only 14% receive any extra payment for this work? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm not aware of the particular survey, but uh, we do have thousands of very well-motivated uh, professional public servants, and it's incumbent particularly on, particularly on the management of our government agencies to engage with uh, the people she's referring to, whether they're women or otherwise, understand why it is they're working a lot more hours than they're paid for, uh, and get better processes in place so that they can meet public expectations for service uh, at the same time as uh, public service staff can have uh, reasonable and balanced lives. Catherine Delahunty. Um, does the Minister think receiving an average before tax salary of $43,185, as the survey reveals for women, indicates a bloated approach to paying female public servants? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, no I don't. Uh, the, I think the uh, the, the survey will express what we know uh, fairly well, and that is that there is a predominance of uh, females in the lower paid uh, occupations uh, of publicly funded services. What I think is important is that we organise those services efficiently so that those uh, very committed uh, public servants uh, can see that their efforts are leading to efficient delivery of services. Too often I meet frontline public service staff who believe their management don't always know how the services work and whose contribution uh, could be viewed much more constructively with the time of consistent change uh, that we will see over the next three or four years. Catherine Delahunty. Does he consider that the Prime Minister in his own recent derogatory comments regarding public sector workers will add to female workers' stress, especially when the survey reports 43% of women workers experience bullying in the workplace? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, I don't think the, um, Prime Minister's, uh, the Prime Minister's comments will have that effect. Uh, what we do know is that productive and efficient workplaces are, are places where staff are happy to turn up to work and where they can thrive and fulfil uh, their own potential. Uh, it's probably, uh, my guess is actually that workplaces where there is uh, bullying of the sort that the member is referring to are probably not well run. They probably have management uh, that don't understand how the frontline services are working, uh, and if they've got poor relationships within that workplace, they're probably offering a poor and inefficient service. Point of order, Catherine Delahunty. I seek leave to table the Victoria University survey report prepared for the Public Service Association, Constructing Workplace Democracy, Women's Voice, and New Zealand Public Services. Leave is sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. And that brings to a close questions for oral answer.